Hey guys, Nind here, and welcome to the first of a series of videos on how I do my conversions. Uh, today we'll be using the CVVE Archmage armor as an example, and I'm just going to go through the basic steps that you kind of have to go through to get a conversion that looks pretty decent and works for most people. So after you've downloaded and installed the mod, what I like to do normally is extract the zip file itself to a location I have that I keep all my conversions in. I normally go ahead and rename it using my naming convention so that way I have a place I can send all the files to before building it into the final zip and uploading it. So the first thing you need to decide is what you actually are going to convert. Inside of the meshes folder for the Archmage armor there are these seven meshes. That is seven, right? Yeah. This first one, because it has a go at the end, that's a normal convention for ground objects, and you can tell it's a lot smaller than the rest. It is just the mesh that's used when you see it on the ground in-game. The rest of these items, though, they are actual armor. So we're going to have to at least look at them and decide which ones need to be converted, which ones can stay the same, etc. That'll all make a little bit more sense when we get to the point where we are editing the ESP itself. Normally, I'll just select all the ones that need to be opened, open them with NIFScope, and take a look at them. Alright, so the first one up is the shoes. Luckily, this mod itself is CVVE, so we're not going to have to worry about messing with the textures at all. And the ankles are shielded. Um, so with CVVE feet, there's not any sliders that deal with the actual size and shape of the feet itself, only the ankles. So this one we can actually leave alone. Over here we have a cloak. Doesn't look like there's any physics or anything on it, but we'll see once we start working with it whether or not we need to shape it or interfere with it at all. Most likely because some people, like big butts and things like that, will probably end up body sliding it a little bit. CBBE hands. And they look okay as well, so we probably won't mess with these, as the seam is covered up by these bangles that are on it. Lastly, we have the body. Nicely censored, so that way YouTube doesn't get on my case for posting this conversion process there. Uh, this is a non-standard CPBE body, though, so this is going to end up making the conversion process a little bit more complex. We will have to make our own custom conversion body and we'll go over that once we start the project setup and conversion process itself. This is the eye that goes on the face, so we're not going to be messing with that. And then lastly, the hood, which we are also not going to be messing with. So, overall, we are only messing with the outfit and maybe the cloak. So join me again for the next episode where we start to set up our project and work on those two items specifically.